Off, often racing in the St. James's uh, Palace Stakes over one mile. Henry Longfellow away pretty well to the outside with Unquestionable in the silver just coming through to take them along. Metropolitan, one of three Guineas winners in the contest. The Green Jacket in third with Darlinghurst, yellow and blue cap to the outside, followed by Rosalian and then Alianabi, the Newmarket Guineas winner. Notable speech held up at the back of the field with Al Makam as the field have completed two and a half furlongs and they're separated by around about six or seven lengths here. And it is unquestionable. A Breeders' Cup winner from last year, just with the advantage to Henry Longfellow in second place. Metropolitan and Alexi Puchan in third position. Christoph Sumion, Darlinghurst, the outside. The French pair three and four, followed by Al Yanabi on the outer of Rosalian and Sean Levy. Al Makam is at the back with notable speech, looking to protect his unbeaten record. They've gone by halfway. They're running towards the three in the St. James his palace stakes and unquestionable looking to wind this up from the front Henry Longfellow poised in behind his stable mate in second position Metropolitan shaken up Darlinghurst held together then Al Yanabi Rosalian has got plenty in front of him inside the two notable speech pulled to the outside Henry Longfellow having the first crack at unquestionable they've got a furlong and a half left to go and taking over here Henry Longfellow Rosalian is in the clear notable speech with plenty to do Henry Longfellow chased all all the way by Rosalian. Half a furlong left. Henry Longfellow the inside. Rosalian the outside. Rosalian takes the St. James's Palace under Sean Levy. Henry Longfellow in second. Metropolitan a big run in third ahead of Al Yanabi and Al Makam. Rosalian gets the job done and wins the big three-year-old showdown over the mile here. The St. James's Palace stakes for Richard Hannon, who's had so much faith in this horse, and Sean Levy, the man with all the pressure today, Fred. Usually you say, you know, oh, great ride. No, this was a great ride. Everything happened for him. He was a bit keen early doors, which he always is. He was in the Irish Guineas. He took his time. He didn't want to have that position that the French horse had in front of him because otherwise he would have gone too keen. So Sean took a bit of by the time out the back there, rode the race, and look at the way it just unfolded for him, Jim. The gaps open to perfection. Yeah, but you were chuntering halfway around the bend, weren't you? <laughs> but but yes, it did, and he, the fair play to the horse. He'd still work to do, but he reeled in uh, Henry Longfellow, who's run a fine race. Um, didn't look to be too many excuses for uh, notable speech on the day he was pulled out, but he didn't fire. Clearly, that's not his form, but you can't say the run of the race maybe was that far against him because he was just behind the winner on the turn in. Well, I think you're right, Alex, about faith. That's the key word here. Can remember when we were at Doncaster and this horse was beating the champagne and Richard's face, he could not believe that horse got beat. But they retained the faith and retained the faith not just in the horse but in Sean Levy as well, knowing that the right style to get the most out of Rosalian. So a real triumph for faith, belief, and brilliant training. On the left there is Tony Gorman, who's been a senior member of staff at Richard Hannan's for decades, and he became a grandfather a few oh. days ago. So congratulations to Tony and to all the family and to Kelly as well. It was an exciting week for them, and she timed it just right because it was before Royal Ascot and not during. Let's go to Hayley for some reaction.